Four men, one mission, the longest bus ride in America. That's nearly four days from Miami to Seattle, the entire length of the USA. Oh my God, this is about to go down. Eight hours starting now. Meanwhile, where are we? Before I call 911, some people just don't think. I'm sick and tired of it. Colorado! We've already completed the longest train ride in the UK, but this would triple it in length, quadruple it in weirdness, and stretch our sanity to the limit. I'm a whip met for me yesterday. <laughs> Driver, this is the best drive I've ever been on my whole life! Yo, we go on a bus to Seattle. <laughs> sure. Ladies and gentlemen, Jay and I are sick. We're sick and tired of your comments. Yes theory, copy. Yes theory, on yes, theory. Yes, theory. Yes, theory. Yes, yes, theory. Yes, theory. Yes, theory. Yes, theory. Yes, theory. Yes, theory. Well, words hurt. They're like us, but more successful, more ethnically diverse, and arguably more attractive. So when Thomas asked us if we wanted to see parts of America we'd never seen, spend almost four days straight on the road alongside Matt and Tiddy, You've been challenged. Here was our response. Good evening, Mr. Bragg. <laughs> 88 hour coat dry. You've piqued my interest. Boys, <laughs> I'm in. Bring on the coat ride from hell. So we set off for America and we were feeling enthusiastic. 6.30 a.m. Let's go to America, yeah. USA, USA. Not really. Yes Theory challenged us literally two days before this. So to be honest, we were a shambles. This man is literally booking flights. We're already late. Yeah. Welcome aboard this second J Airlines flight to Miami. Fasten your seatbelts, enjoy the view, because tomorrow is going to be hell. Matt, have you been on a have you been on one of the buses before? Yeah, I tell you and I have taken it from New York to Montreal, which is I mean, it's one tenth of what we're doing. You literally want to kill yourself by the end. You're like, give me the fuck off of this machine, <laughs> like it's, it's, dude, dude, you have no idea. Oh no. You're gonna be living in fucking hell. No. <laughs> I actually That's don't have an idea. We actually don't have an idea. That phone call didn't help me at all. That really, I me. really. That, that, I, didn't, I wish that never happened. It's 10 p.m. It's the night before we endeavor on the longest bus ride in America. <laughs> He's got a slip disc. Mate, the, the ticket is 32 pages long. Did you hear what Matt said? He's booked two C's. Yeah, each. yeah, I knew that. We didn't get two C's each. No, but it would have been $400 instead of 200 I was like, no, we're not. Yeah. We're not going to be able to lie horizontal for four days. No, you can't lie horizontal anyway, especially not with your length. Two C's is this. Yeah, that is so much better than this. Oh, I'm not, I don't think I can, oh, Guess who had a good night's sleep? Last night was bad, and then the phone call with Matt and Tom just made it worse. It's a magic what a good night's sleep can do. The coach sets off in one hour 57. So I, on a, I think we are in for a treat. We're gonna see all sorts of emotions on this one, and I'm looking forward to it. It's about the journey, not the destination, get off my leg. What, what, what's the strategy? Uh, the strategy is go in there, sit down, yeah. And yeah, just stay sad. Right. Should we get off? Oh my days, it is a ratty piece of shit. Zach and Jamie are very late. Oh, they're right here. <laughs> so we were united with Matt and Tiddy and what a delight. Let's go. We were over the moon. Oh, right. The last page. We've just the left Miami. Um, 80 hours starting now. Oh, yeah. So as we set off, two things become evident. The difference in strategy. Matt and Tiddy were drinking hydration packs, eating nuts, sleeping on pillows. They were prepared for battle. Meanwhile, me and Jay bought a pack of sweets to share. This here does not indulge in such things. All right. I asked the question <laughs> off camera, but it's good that I reiterate. Did you guys bring any pillows or blankets for this four day bus journey? You know the answer, that's why you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> what 
please. <laughs> Matt and Teedy were mocking us, but what they didn't know is we have true British grit. Anyway, there were bigger problems at hand. There's no freaking way we're not gonna miss the bus, right? Well, this is, this bus shows up late, that other bus is gonna go. Yeah. Well, the other problem is, and this is how, so my own is at like two hours, and it's two a.m. in the morning, so actually, so we we'll, we need to like wait for at one a.m. Wait outside for two hours. <laughs> and if we fall asleep, not fall asleep for three hours, because then we'll miss the bus. <laughs> Layovers at all times throughout the night. If we miss one bus, two days early, we just left 15 minutes late, and the next layer was 15 minutes. So the team morale was high. Things were going smoothly. Just four guys on the longest bus ride across America. What more could you want? I really need the toilet. There's someone blocking the toilet. Eight. Eight hours. Kill me now. Kill me now. Yeah, kill me now. On the bus to ATL. Matt tried to spit some bars, but he fell down to the ground. But we keep going. We're on the Greyhound and we keep rowing. Forward. <laughs> We're not rowing, but we keep. <laughs> Keep going. Run, 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 run. Drop the beat, drop the beat. Straight from the UK, UK club. Why don't you go back to the United Kingdom? How come? He was buzzing with that, he was so happy. He looked up and stopped. He's like, oh, I can't watch. That's like, we're going good. Yeah. Coach number two, we're going to Atlanta. Stop number two. Yeah. Considering he lost the rap battle, Matt's happiness was infuriating. But it wasn't long before that changed. Oh no. <laughs> don't, don't worry, Matt. It's just a test of mental toughness. <laughs> You're the only one of two people who spent double on two chairs. <laughs> that is so much. What tests you only make you stronger, Matt? Give a dramatic monologue right now. Yeah. It's closed. <laughs> it's not affecting my mental state. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> Light boy, light boy, <laughs> light boy, <laughs> light boy. <laughs> Guys, we have a two hour layover from 3.30 until like 5. What? <laughs> is it even worth trying to see? <laughs> this is the first day for f***ing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go back right now. Oh, f***. I'm knackered now, mate. Look how far I went. <laughs> We've got like less than a centimetre. <laughs> USA is so big, but I'm just gonna try and get some sleep. I'm the light boy. Oh, light you. Mm. Who's the light boy now? Oh, <laughs> Who's the light boy now? Good night. <laughs> sleep time. Watch out, don't let the lights bite. <laughs> <laughs> You've lost your head, mate. You've fing gone. <laughs> Meanwhile. Where are we? <laughs> My whole left side is hurting. Oh, Zeki, you have a slip disc. <laughs> well, Jay and I tried to sleep, but it turns out fate had other plans. Show me the seat. You need to come on and get the seat before I call 911 because I've, I've had enough. This lady need to sit next to you. Ma'am, you want to know what? I'm sick and tired. We, we, we are great. Right. We are great. Right right okay, right thank there. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you aggravate these people up here, Man, we gonna I'm end pretty your trip. sure I'm not. We're going to end your trip. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, you think it's a joke? No. Bye. Man, okay. I'm trying to do a job just like you. Yeah. The f what do you mean? It's getting heated back there. I was wondering what's happening. Oh my gosh. If you ask me, you're barrel of laps. Um, yeah, I got like that from England or something. Yeah, England. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, what the? <laughs> okay. Yo. Don't yeah. play me like I'm stupid. Nah. Don't do that. Don't do that. Nah, I'm glad I moved up here. Yeah. Ooh, it's God. lit over here. Sugar Hill BBS represent. Ah. That's Gainesville, Florida. What's B up? BBS. What you do? <laughs> what it is? What it is, mother. What it is? What it is? You say like what it is, like that kind of stuff. That. 
and yeah. don't even give a who say anything about it. No. Yeah. Hey, you're all blinged up as well. You got the earrings in. Oh man, I mean, I always do that. Yeah. Like, damn, okay, let me draw my eyebrows on. Oh, <laughs> Have my last stone. It's gonna be done just in case. <laughs> Yeah, right. Wait, y'all yeah, push me up on though. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah, BBS, it ain't what it is. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Right? <laughs> We're gonna settle down. Everybody's gonna okay. have some peace and quiet. We're almost to Atlanta. We're gonna work together. We got there together. Okay. Thank you. Dash. <laughs> I don't know how low I've been on this path. It was too long. Pause. Hello to all you new viewers. I hope you're enjoying your time here. If you're not subscribed, then please do subscribe now and like the video. It helps us way more than you think. What happened? <laughs> she's, on, she's on probation and she stabbed her boyfriend. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rightly so, yeah, good on you. <laughs> Rightly so. Mate, she's, she's drinking like hard liquor as well. Yeah, is she, when she laughs, she does this. Yeah, she like knows. elbows me there. <laughs> mate, she's gonna adopt you by the end of this journey, mate. She's gonna put you in her bag and just carry you around. We're finished. Yeah. We just got off at Atlanta. We were meant to have an hour layover, but we've only got 10 minutes. Everyone is going frantic. I thought it was seven hours. It's starting to get delirious now. Last plus a lot of weird shit happened. So, as the buses were switched and the drunken lady sat away from the boys, peace had been restored on the bus for the first time in what felt like an eternity. So, as the warm sun crept upon the bus, the boys couldn't quite help but think what trials and tribulations laid before them today. Jamie's not slept. Is like he said, his neck was in agony. <laughs> I've been sleeping in some weird positions as well. I fell asleep like that for like two hours. Just <laughs> kneeling down on the floor. I think that was the longest stint so far. <laughs> yeah, it's some good sleep there. It's like about two hours. We got like a 50 minute stopover and then back on the same bus. So Nashville was our breakfast stop and as I did some stretching for my pathetic old man back and Jay tucked into America's national delicacy, we started to feel alive again. Everything felt oddly normal and that's when we ran into an old friend that restored the balance of weird. Go on, what you gonna say, Joanna? What you gonna tell the people? Your occupation should be your occupation. Jeez! I don't give a fuck. Why was I almost picked up the two buses? Twice in a row. Twice in a row. You know why? Why? Because I know customer service skills. You know customer service right? skills. So that building right. you want that coat, huh? Florida, I'm a going further up north. Up north. That's what to make that money to get yep. in my bag. Get that the bread. Fuck Secure the bag. What's wrong with that? And guess what? I paid fifteen dollars for a drink, a burger, and fries. F yeah. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of it. Bye, Bye. Bye. <laughs> Day two on the bus, nearly 24 hours in. With one shocking night's sleep next to a drunk felon, it dawned on us at just how little of the journey we had completed. Right, we are officially one day into the journey. Have to just realize that we have triple what we just had. Wow, that's insane. We have three days left on this bus. Anything to add? As an Englishman, it's quite hard to comprehend the size of America. So far, we had met some amazing characters and seen parts of the USA we didn't know existed. And as we approached St. Louis, we were excited to have a wash and meet some new people on the next bus to Denver. It's been how long, boys? 28 hours, approximately. Which means we are about a third of the way there. <laughs> oh, God. Now was the journey from St. Louis to Denver, the longest stint yet. It's been 32 hours. 32 hours. Oh! 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 Mike, Mike drop, mother. 
course. <laughs> <laughs> Matt has eaten nothing but nuts and fruit, and he claims that he is happy inside. <laughs> My meanwhile, we've been eating burgers yes. and Pringles, and I feel great. That you get close to sleeping, it's like, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived in the stolen house, and you get off the bus. I don't give a <laughs> so the monotonous stops were getting to us. It was interrupting any attempt at long sleep. These small bumps in the road are here to test us. But little did we know at the time, this 12 hour stretch overnight was about to get worse. We've been stopping this parking lot for two and a half hours now. And just been told that uh, the driver that's supposed to replace this one will come for another hour and 20 minutes, which means we're definitely missing our next bus. Which means we need to figure out something to do because I'm thinking maybe we should just try and go to Los Angeles. Oh, what's that, Matt? Matt the Iron Man? Matt the mental toughness reading, no junk food consuming Iron Man? You want to call it off early? Pathetic. He's unhappy because he doesn't eat healthy. So Zach's for sure off the map first. This is when our men start going down. I can't wait until you crash. Yeah, the tough gets tough, Matt. The tough gets tougher. Oh, so the guy just woke up solutions. just to say that. Yeah. I love that. You know, that was <laughs> that's all for me, Iron I Man. Sleep. I expect better from you. <laughs> Your country is too big. How about that? So despite the obvious mess up, a new driver swapped, leaving us three and a half hours behind schedule. At this rate, we would miss our transfer to Denver and add 24 hours onto the journey. But as the sun rose over Missouri and Matt dreamt of being back in LA, Jay and I had to deal with a bigger problem. More optimistic than we are. <laughs> so I don't really know the extent to how late we are for the next bus. But we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make oh, it. Oh, cool. <laughs> I don't know what hour on, but we're the second morning of the second night. The second morning of the second night. That we're coming up. We're about. Are you feeling? I feel horrendous. Forty-five hours in. The second morning, I've not had more than one hour sleep. The, the scenery's not changed at all for the past 12 hours. It's just been lit. So Kansas was getting really boring. There was really nothing to report on and things were getting low. But in these situations, you look for any ounce of happiness in what you can. And as we crossed the border into Colorado, the bus unified. Colorado! <laughs> Let's go Denver! Let's go Denver! We're over halfway and we are still undoubtedly in the middle of nowhere. Despite the temporary good mood, we realised that there was almost no chance in us catching our bus from Denver to Salt Lake City. The three hour delay the night before had cost us big time and with traffic thrown in the mix it looked like Matt was going to need to go home to LA. But as we pulled into Denver, it seemed the stars had aligned and the four brothers received some amazing news. You need to oh, take a counter. Are we right there, LA, baby. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, we got a solid. Are we not gonna miss the bus? Yes! <laughs> oh, we haven't missed it. Go, go, go. Suit up! The challenge is still on. This is Salt Lake? Yeah. The bus we thought we missed was actually just as late as us. Meaning all was well and the four musketeers and this guy were back on track with our mission. I feel sick. <laughs> I'm very tired. How long haven't you had sleep? I had one hour sleep last night and I'm not exaggerating. I've had about three hours a night before. I've been up since half four this morning. Eight to ten hours to Salt Lake City. Starts now. 50 hours from the home stretch now though, I feel it. So spirits were high once again. We left Denver and observed the beautiful mountainous mountains, and that was when it doomed on us. We were only halfway there. I'm actually quite enjoying it. Really, but I don't know if that's because I'm not okay. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't think I'm okay. Yeah, I'm not okay. Our smiles were fake, but at least we could smile. Matt and Tiddy, on the other hand, were struggling, and with a whole new set of people on the bus, things were getting weird. Where are we? In my 
fucking yeah, Denver, yeah, boy. Yeah, check it, check it. We had this bus start right quick. Yeah. And we about to hop off now. In the in the 20 seconds. Yeah. And then we did <laughs> and the then when Jank it that fancy. And then when you're my to pad the bus stop in your fancy. I'ma whip Matt for me, yes the fat airy. You just licked me, you just licked me as I was rapping. Hey, look at this little white boy, isn't he cute? I'm gonna make him my husband. He's from the UK. What it do? What are you gonna name your kids? <laughs> my son, Valentiaka Christian Dior, and my daughter, Coco Chanel. I'm gonna call my uh, Primark. What is that? That dog just took a s on the road. Welcome back to this episode of the Zach and Jay Show. I'm here joined with... Say Princess. Say Jay. Princess. Princess. And uh, how are you finding the journey so far? Princess. Yep. Messy bitch. <laughs> the last sunset this we have on the I bus. I want to say seven. Before it's Seattle. Yeah, oh, That's what I want to say now. See if we can get more than one hour sleep. We were on the home stretch. We had traveled halfway across the United States and with everything that could have went wrong, we were surprisingly on a roll as we drove into the Colorado desert. After a quick morning stop at Boys, Idaho, we were back on the road and fueled by coffee. We now felt like more of a community than ever. We had recorded a full podcast with the boys and we were now doing some group activities with the rest of the bus. That's that rhyme. Yo, Yo we up. on the bus to Seattle. Gonna have fun on the way. Look at the cattle. <laughs> but you gotta go after we go. Three, two, one. Woo! That works. Now an American wave. Whee! Yeah. Watch your profanity. I'm glad you guys are enjoying my driving. Driver, this is the best drive I've ever been on Woo! my whole life. Yeah. Three claps. Three I claps. love three claps. Fuck. You can go like this on my chest. Last connecting bus. We missed it. And who knows if we'll make it to Seattle by tonight. Not the best way to end it, but Princess is in a good mood, so that's all that matters. Hey, five hours left, we said it was too easy. And yeah, we just missed the last transfer, of course we have. If any of you somehow <laughs> live in Portland and want to take you know, it. <laughs> say anything. We're in desperate need, something's happened with the buses. All the Zach and Jay fam in Portland, give us a ride. We have an interested lad named Tom. He wrote another thing saying, well, fuck it, yes theory. I'm in if you need help. Hey, that's the Zach and Jay spirit right there. <laughs> the little red rocket, he calls yeah. it. Uh, right, lovely people of the internet. We are closing in the last five minutes of the journey. Uh, we are just about to meet Tommy and the red rocket, and uh, we are going to continue the journey to um, to Seattle. This journey... It's been emotional. I feel a part of this coach, feel a part of the people, feel a part of the tribe. But um, with all great things in life, it must come to an end. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy in the red rocket. He's going to kill us in a crash. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as this journey comes to an end and we head to Portland, it's been an absolute honor to travel with that was actually it. Our ride on the bus was coming to an end and the fate of our journey lied in a man we had never met before and his red rocket. And although we were sad to leave this bus, this had to be done. <laughs> Man, hey, great to meet you. Hey, what's up, bud? What's doing? What's up? Tommy, Tommy, Tommy in the red rocket. So we were all packed into Tommy's red rocket for the final three hours from Portland to Seattle. And it turns out he was the nicest man ever. This video has ended in the most wholesome way possible as we sat there and reflected on the trip. The people we had met were truly what made this trip so special and we had just added another one to that list. What a time to be alive, ladies and gents. Made it to Seattle. Yeah! yeah. 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 yeah.
USA, 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 USA. All right, guess we made it. I guess we should feel happy. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> this has opened my eyes to areas of American life that I never knew existed. It's exposed me to people of all ages, genders, sexes. Are <laughs> oh, you so serious about this? <laughs> Angry almost. Yeah, it's over, right, guys? It's a life. It's a life. It's a great house. We have found something just a little bit better. A train ride from London to Singapore. It's over 10 days long. We want all four of you this time. You've officially been challenged. So make sure you follow us on Instagram. As of today, we are going on a three week break. We've been on the channel for a year now. We've been bashing content pretty much every single week. So we're coming back in November with some amazing new videos and some more content from America. Nice one. <laughs>